Yes, indeed. We're live right here in the KXP live room here on the afternoon show right now. I'm so excited, and I think you might be too, because right now, right here, we have the incredible, the brilliant, the fantastic Deerhoof, live and direct right here at KXP. Thank you all for being here.
Deerhoof, live, KEXP. You just heard scarcity is manufactured from Actually You Can from 2021 and My Lovely Cat from Miracle Level, their album from this year. They're live right here on KEXP. And now, and and now, Plenty, which I start, and I haven't started yet because I'm nervous.
And that was Plant Thief from Actually You Can Deer Hoof Live in studio right here on KEXP right now. Oh, I'm I, I'm just full of juice right now. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. And we got one more. <laughs> new fantastic new record miracle level. Momentary art of soul.
Deerhoof live right here on KEXP. Wow. Thank you so much oh, for coming you. through. Thank you for having me. With the incendiary set y'all just delivered. Oh, man. Um, and I, I, I want to say this is the first time we've had you on KXP since in, the, in 15 years or something like that. So <laughs> Let's welcome. just say that when we did it previously, these globular lights yes. were something less than the blue and purple they are now. They were just off the rack Christmas, Christmas <laughs> yeah. lights, I want to say, <laughs> back there on Dexter. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, you just played a, a track off of your latest album, Miracle Level, fantastic record uh, in, a, in a, a catalog full of fantastic work. It is your 19th release. Is that true? We don't know. <laughs> you, you keep count. Um, it's a That's bit of, the interviewer's job to calculate. You're right. I have seen that it's 19th. I just want to you know, check against. We'll go with that. Um, right on. Yeah. It's a bit of an album of firsts you've... Um, done tracks um, with lyrics in Japanese before, of course, but this album totally in and also recorded in a studio, I believe, th th for the first time. What finishing one in the finishing. studio. Okay, there you go. <laughs> We've started several in studios gotcha. and been like, you know what? The, uh, the three days that we've allotted uh, to spend here just uh, really don't quite measure up to the uh, 12 months that we're planning on spending uh, getting it. Just, you know, perfect Understood. for you, for the, for the radio, really. You right know. I mean, that's the, that's the pressure that, that we constantly feel. 19 albums in, mm -hmm. you know, it's just uh, the, uh, the feeling that, uh, that if, it, if it fails to uh, sound pretty over the radio, then, then we... We uh, will be giving all your money back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good policy. <laughs> That's the deer hoof difference. Um, <laughs> it sounds great uh, on the radio when we're playing it a bunch. I'm, I'm curious, kind of, what prompted these firsts for this particular album? Uh, I mean, the, the obviously any um, any suggestion that the album be sung entirely in Japanese required the consent of the only person in the band fluent in that language. Um, so um, I feel that it's possible that Satomi might be able to give a better, a better More nuanced uh, kind of uh, Japanese uh, language lesson for yeah, every, yeah, everyone. Lesson right now. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I think I think we felt that uh, you know a general uh, a trend in in popular music towards you know multipolarity mm. and a uh, a realization that uh, if we do not uh, pretty much immediately marginalize the anglophone world uh, that the entire planet is about to uh, go down the toilet. So we thought, yeah, let's, let's marginalize the English language where it belongs. This is an incredible, incredible re response. Appreciate that. Um, I'm curious, you know, in, in terms of songwriting, obviously that must kind of change the dynamics. I, I believe you, the, the, the songs have been written collaboratively. How does that That's change? That's what you it? think. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I thought that was the case. <laughs> Um, no, I look, for instance, uh, the previous song, the one we just played, Momentary Art of Soul, like, was written by uh, John Dietrich, stage right guitar. He's on your left. The, the, the radio listeners out there, he's on your left. Um, uh, in uh, in uh, 2012, I think, uh, the first section uh, was the bridge of a, of a different song. That, uh, from which we had removed uh, that intro because um, we didn't like it at the time. And then we now like it and uh, put it as Speak the intro yourself. to this song. <laughs> Did you say? Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, what am I doing? Wait. <laughs> Actually, we hate this music. <laughs> I don't know. Then John wrote the other parts too, but it was, a, it was an outtake from Actually You Can. And... Uh, you know, I'm going to admit that I might need to pause to try and remember what your question was. I got so caught up in, in you know, my own 
personal narrative that... Uh, Collaboration. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, was it about the lyrics? You need a microphone. I guess specifically, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> specifically, I'm thinking lyrically, you know, right. since the lyrics are all in Japanese and you're... you're um, you know. I thought that, you know, when yeah. I listened to John's demo, it sounded uh, so much like, you know, Japanese carnival, too, yeah. you know. And so, you know, it's just so, I don't know, it's just very, you can, you know, instantly relate to yeah. that sound, you know, because everywhere you go, you know, we've traveled all over the world and carnival always sounds like that, you know, like... Yeah. <laughs> It's just so, you know, the, the sounds are mixed and, you know, you hear from far away and it's an open space, you know. So I thought I just threw in the Japanese, like, uh, carnival words, you know, like, uh, so yeah, so yeah, say yeah, say yeah, you know, that, that kind of sound. Yeah, yeah, this kind of. <laughs> so, I, yeah, so it's kind of, uh, I don't know, very um, adaptable feeling, I think, you know, like we all share the excitement, you know, yeah. and when your kids and, you know, can cotton candies and stuff like that. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah, cotton candy, definitely you know. For sure. <laughs> yeah. There is a huge sense of play and exhilaration that comes through on this record, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. So it's good to hear that. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. <laughs> um, I'm curious, you guys are like the least formulaic band in the world, but you know, uh, something like 30 years since the inception, there must be some kind of way that things come together. I just wondered if you'd share any of, any of those secret formulas, spices and herbs, if you will. Everybody's looking to everyone else. <laughs> I mean, if you guys have the, if you got, all right, Ed's no, got I, the secret I, form I, 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 right I here, think, the deer hoof difference. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think a big part of it is that everybody, we're, we're just trying to stay happy while we're doing this. Mm. And like, so it's like a constant reevaluation and constant, like, like we, we talk for m months before we start writing the next album. And it's like a, pro it's like um, sharing like, you know, like what we've been through the past year and like what, what, what have we been doing that everybody likes? What, what do we see that people are responding to? What do we wish there was more of? What, do we, what music have we, are we hearing at the moment and that, that excites us? And, and because, you know, it's because there is no goal, like, like there is no goal for what we're doing. It's just a continual process where we're continually like just like trying to become better people and trying mm. to like learn and try and do everything. So it's just like, it's almost like the band is a byproduct of us just trying to like be a good <laughs> like improve as people and 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 learn about ourselves and things and uh yeah so uh, but we everyone is really listens to each other and that's i mean um yeah like it's it's uh it's it's a lot of work but it's you know it's it's absolutely worth it you know when yeah. you find people when you find people that'll do that for you obviously in any part of your life you've got to grab onto them and hang on to, hang on to them yeah. absolutely yeah. and and you know on that topic i feel that that, uh, you know, for any of our fans who might be watching, we would like to um, now report to you the very good news that we have not yet succeeded in becoming good people. <laughs> so it was still going to be at least another 19 <laughs> records, you know, as we continue to work it out. Yeah, if time. you go to our website, there's a graph of how good we're getting, and it goes, it, it's, it's updated every day, and it kind of like, we get sort of <laughs> like and the like, fundraising yeah. thermometer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Almost yeah, there. Not quite there yet. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Took, a, took a tumble this week. Oh, I, I don't it. know. I feel, I feel like... It does, of course, it, it feels so happy. I love playing with you guys. That last song is just, you know, it feels like, that was our, literally our first time playing the song in front of any, any yeah. uh, wow. <laughs> we just learned it yesterday. More firsts. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, uh, and it, it was joyous. But I also feel like a song like that, you know, it's like, um, it's not just terror. joy. Yeah, terror, well, of course, yeah. the terror that we're gonna mess up <laughs> is extraordinary. Uh, I feel like sometimes you hear music, it sounds kind of <laughs> and it's like, it's really, it's a very convenient time to think about, um, you know, uh, um, departed uh, loved ones mm -hmm. or, uh, or other loved ones, uh, you know, who might be uh, getting close to the end. Just thinking about, thinking about oblivion, thinking about things that are almost, kind of cosmic, you know? I feel like that song, it's just so... 
the music is so beautiful when when I hear it that that uh, I <laughs> like I wouldn't I would never narrow it down to just happy music as much as it contains that. Yeah. But I feel like one of the things I like about our, a lot of our songs, maybe this is our formula, is that no song has a definite mood, mm. a simple mm. emotion. Like one night it sounds really happy, and the next night it sounds sad, or. Or one person had a great time and another person was like, what was that train wreck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. They're kind of like a little open-ended, you know? Yeah, There's like always the, a double edge. Well, like the last one, there, I mean, it's, it's both like, there's a celebration aspect to it, but part of it came from the fact that like when the pandemic started, we, we, we didn't think we could ever play indoors again. So we started yeah. talking about trying to write music that would sound good outside, like a festival, like yeah. that people could hear from miles away because we yeah. just assumed at the time when, you know, like sure. nobody knew what was happening that our way of life was over. And, and we would just, and the only time we would be able to play to people or meet anybody would be outside in a field yeah. <laughs> somewhere. So that was, so that was, so even though the song is like, you know, it, yeah, as Greg was saying, it has mul multiple levels of, of everything. It sort of was born out of a, a you know, a feeling of like, what, what are we gonna do next, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Like what's happening. Yeah. Right on. Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and your music and this beautiful by byproduct of self-actualization <laughs> that is your music. Uh, I appreciate you, you deeply. Uh, thank thanks you. for the questions. We've never, yeah. we've never had any of these conversations amongst ourselves. So. <laughs> More firsts. We, That's the yeah, yeah. difference. We, right travel in, we travel in four separate vans, so we never really yeah. talk. Oh, anymore. nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's chili peppers all over again. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Thank you so much. We're, uh, it's about to be um, drive time. My brother Kevin Cole is up next. I don't want to cut into his time, but thank Thank you yeah. so much for coming and sharing yourselves with us. This has been a fantastic time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is KEXP with the Music Matters, listener powered all day. You make programming like this possible. Thank you so much. Um, it's the afternoon show. My name is Larry Mizell Jr. Big shout out to Charlize. Big shout out to Ken. Big shout out to everybody who made this possible today. And big shout out to Deerhoof. This is KEXP. KEXP. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.